Hey everyone, welcome to the 12 Bravo channel. I had to think about that because of my last channel name. But um, I wanted to show you my gaming setup and kind of give you an overview of each system and what I think about each system and if I were to only have one system, which one I would choose. So hopefully that would help you out. And I'll also give some pointers because it really depends when you're picking one system if you're only going to have one gaming system it really depends on what type of gamer you are right so um it all depends you know it just all depends you know or have you played playstations mainly in the past or xboxes mainly in the past or have you had both or you know uh, are you more of a casual gamer so things of that nature but let me show you some of the features so they all have online services right and they all have games that you can play online uh, with the services. I think Nintendo's is $20 a year. And you get, you know, these are the Super Nintendo games. So you can play a bunch of different Super Nintendo games. But if I go back out, oops, I think I just, uh oh, no, I don't want that. Okay. So let's go back to online. Sorry, the buttons are exactly the opposite of the Xbox controller. So it's like pressing, but you have like online play. You have NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Nintendo 64, and Game Boy Advance games that you can play. And if you look at the game archives, they have them sorted by date. So 2005, 2003. So they go back, you know, a ways. So, 2015 is the latest one, Earthbound Beginnings. I don't know what that is. but Or you can go to systems, different systems that you want. So, if you, like, for example, want to go on Nintendo 64, you can launch that. I guess I got to download that one. So, okay, I haven't downloaded that one yet. But, for example, oh, you have your save cloud data. So, I've got all my save cloud data there. And uh, let's see if there's anything in here interesting. No, nope, nothing in there interesting. But yeah, so if I want to go to like, say, go back to Super Nintendo, I click on that, and then you start software, and then it's going to check to make sure that, you know, an error occurred. I don't know, something with my save data, whatever, start software. And then if I push, I think, the start button. Nope. Ah, whatever. You get the gist of it, right? Oh, how do I get out of here? Oh. I'm to press these buttons. Ah, here we go. So, yeah. So, I mean, they got tons of games that you can play. Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. So some of the old games, you know, that, that you might like. I really like this game, Ghouls and Goblins, but it is so freaking hard. Oh, my God. I don't even think I can get past the first level. I don't know how I used to play that as a kid. I used to trump that game when I was a kid. I think my reflexes are getting a little slower. But uh, So let's switch over to the Xbox and see what they got. So this is the Xbox Series X. And um, this is their Game Pass. And so you can see at the top here, 100 plus games in this collection. And uh, to kind of show you my setup real quick, I do have the PS5 in the nice uh, camo skin. You can buy these skins direct from Sony. And uh, they're really easy to take off and put on. I used to have the camo Pulse headsets, but I recently upgraded to the uh, Sony Inzone H7s. I got them used and... Got lucky because they were faulty and got lucky the guy had the receipt and I got a brand new pair for, you know, I, I paid $100 for those. So they're normally 230 So I got lucky with that. Um, of course, I got Darth Vader here holding the, you know, the PlayStation controller. Uh, this is, you know, camo matches that. Um, going down over here, I got, uh, you know, Crow with the light. I got the moon that lights up. Got my little garden back here for my garden gnome. Got the three first birds that I got for my feather, uh, or the three first feathers that I got for my birds, my current birds. That would be um, 
That would be Bowser, Amelia, and Mayday. Got my little light up cactus there, you know. Got to represent, represent the cactus. You, know, you kind of turn that on when uh, you want a little mood lighting. Got the, of course, the OLED. And I got the Monster Hunter controller that I liked. And Deadpool is going to be holding that down. Got my grunt style pen with the, um, this is supposed to be uh, from the deck of the Missouri, the teak wood from the deck of the Missouri, and it's, it looks like a 50 caliber round. So, um, or not a 50 caliber round, but just a, you know, it's just a bullet, you know, like a rifle. It's got kind of that rifle bolt on it and bullet at the end, so. It's a nice writing pen. I like it. Kind of keep it here when I want to write in my journals. And down below, I don't have a headset for the Switch because I don't really play that online. And then down below, I got the Series X with the um, Halo Master Chief holding the controller. I got the Astro A 50s, Apple TV, and then my Bose surround sound. And that's the controller that I have for the Xbox. Excuse me. But looking at the Xbox, they have the Game Pass, which is $15 a month. And they have arguably the best value in games. So if you're looking for like the best value in gaming, the Series X is the way to do it. Or Series S if you want to go that route. That's all digital. I decided to get the Series X because it's a little more powerful. And also because um, I still use disc-based games. I'll still go to GameStop and get a disc-based game. I think my latest game was Diablo 4. Um, I like to get the disc-based games. That way I can play through them. And then when I'm done with them, I sell them. So kind of recoup some of my money back. If you buy all digital, then you're just stuck with a bunch of crap on your hard drive. And you have no way to sell it back. So I like having discs. That's why I got the PlayStation disc as well. So... But yeah, you have lots, tons of good games on here. I mean, and they've got day one games that come out. Um, I think when, what's the new game that's coming out? Starfield. When the new Starfield game comes out, that game's going to be a day one game. When Halo Infinite came out, that was a day one game, you know. So um, they definitely have a lot of games on here that you can play. And they have the best selection of games um that far cry 5 that was pretty good fable obviously fables the bomb fallout 4 was awesome um i've actually been on play farming simulator a time or two it's kind of relaxing you know just driving the tractor back and forth up and down the fields watching your stuff grow but anyways yeah that's the xbox um in terms of power if you're if you're a serious gamer and you're considering the xbox or the ps5 the series x or the ps5 in terms of power the, the series x has a little more power but the architecture that the ps5 is built out of um makes it better on some games and i think also the wi-fi i feel like the wi-fi is a little faster on the playstation i could be wrong I think the Wi-Fi on the PlayStation supports Wi-Fi 6, if I'm not mistaken. I know the Xbox does not, for sure. But I think it uh, um, supports it. So if I'm ever having issues with my Xbox playing Warzone, I can jump on my PS5 and vice versa. If I'm having issues on my PS5 playing Warzone over Wi-Fi, I could jump on my Xbox. So between the two, one of them is going to work for Warzone. I never really have any issues. Um, maybe once a month I might get lag on my Xbox, some lag or something like that. But it might be just some interference or whatever because, I mean, this is buried in my entertainment center. And my, my Wi-Fi is like all the way on the other side of the house. So... But, um, yeah, let's look at the PS5's offerings real quick while we're here. And then we'll talk about talk about which one you should pick. So here's the PS5. Now, I have the premium plan. There's three plans. You have the extra, 
I think you have the 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 plus and the premium. I don't remember all the names, but I have the the top plan because uh, with this one you can try games that are out. So if I go to um, benefits game trials, I can do game trials and view games. So they've got all these. So like I tried Cyberpunk just to see if they fixed the bugs on it. I really liked it. I ended up buying it for like 25 bucks. But they've got newer games that you can try on here a lot of times um, for free. And it's like usually about five hours of gameplay. Um, and they got a classics catalog, which I'm not really interested in. I did enjoy my PlayStation 2. Oh, Twisted Metal was the bomb. Love Twisted Metal. That game was tight. Oh, what? That's that's upgraded for the PS5, too. Uh-oh, might have to download that. Upgraded for the PS5 and Twisted Metal, too. Dang. Ghostbusters. So, I guess these are the classics. Yeah. I haven't looked at this in a while, so I'm pretty excited. I might have to... Might have to... Oh, and you can do cloud streaming, too. So they got games that you can stream through the cloud without having to download. Um, the Xbox has the same thing. A lot, of, a lot of Xbox games can be cloud streamed to your phone and stuff like that. And then um, you got monthly games, same as the Xbox. They have Xbox games gold. So like this monthly game is this end lane. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, which I picked up and I picked up Alan Wake as well. All you have to do, uh, you don't have to download them. You just add them to your library and then you'll have them in your library forever. So you want to make sure that every month new games come out on the monthly games to add them to your library before they go away. Because once they go away, you can't get them. So as long as you add them to your library, they don't download. You can go back and you can check your game library later and you can download them off of, the, off of your library interface. Um, you get discounts and exclusive packs. I don't really mess with any of that, but um, I do look at these games. And so, like, I think they got, like, the new Spider-Man Miles Morales on here, which I liked. Um, these Twisted Metals must have been just added because I didn't see those before. But um, I got this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder Revenge. That seems interesting. But, yeah, there's lots of different games hopefully they didn't take spider-man off because i didn't get a chance to play that yet street fighter 5 let's see here i heard that game's pretty good immortals phoenix rising uh where is spider-man guardians of the galaxy horizon forbidden west um Far Cry 5, just like on the, I think they had 6 too, I want to say they had 6, one of these had 6 to play, because I was about to play that too, ooh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I'm going to play that, because um, I played Wildlands, I really enjoyed that, I know they have Spider-Man Miles Morales on here, I know I'm not tripping, yeah, Ghost Recon Wildlands, that was fun. Oh, yeah, the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Got to play that. So many games to play, so little time. I've got such a backlog of games, it's not even funny. <laughs> and you know what I end up doing when I do have time? I just play the free-to-play Warzone, you know. But anyways, they have it on here somewhere. This They have the new Spider-Man Miles Morales on here, so that... You know, is two years old now, but it's on here on the on the game. So, yeah, you do have um, uh, choices here. So, as far as games are concerned, on the Xbox versus the PlayStation, the Xbox has the superior gaming and online service. Okay. The online service, uh, uh, multiplayer service, is better. Uh, it's more user-friendly. 
Um, I can do like, I can find my friends a lot easier on here. Uh, you know, you can send messages, go in the private chats. You can, you know, share videos. The Just the online experience on the Xbox Series X is, I wouldn't say like far superior, but it's superior to the PS5. And their game catalog is better as well. So just, just to give you a heads up, if you were looking to get, you know, into a system that has lots of games for 15 bucks a month, you don't want to have to buy a ton of games, and then the Xbox is the way to go. However, if you want to play better exclusives, you know, the, the PS5 has like God of War uh, as an exclusive, uh, Ragnarok, and they've got tons of different um, first party exclusives, and a lot of exclusives come to the PS5 before they do any other system. So if it were me and I could only have one system, me personally, I would choose my PS5. I was a PlayStation fan since the PS1 when I bought my first PS1. I had the PS1, I had the PS2. I skipped the PS3 because it was so expensive. It was like 600 bucks when it came out. And then I had the PS4. And um, weirdly, I didn't play the PS4 that much. But I was playing the 360 and the Xbox One a lot more than I was. Uh, but I've kind of switched back to PlayStation. Uh, honestly, I use my Xbox the most, but I enjoy playing the PlayStation 5 the most. I, like, I'm playing Cyberpunk right now, 2077 on here. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I, I like the controller better. If I want to relax and play like a really good, high quality looking game, I'm all about my PlayStation. So if I had to choose one console out of the three, it would be the PS5. So take that with a grain of salt, you know, uh, that's just my personal preference because, you know, I'm getting a little older now and online gaming isn't what it used to be for me. Uh, you know, I'm not really competitive. Uh, I get my competitiveness from Warzone and I, a lot of times I just get mad because my reflexes aren't what they used to be, you know, and, you know, fighting kids that are hopped up on Red Bull uh, can be aggravating sometimes. So usually I could play for about maybe two hours before I'm done on the Warzone <laughs> game. I'm like, all right, I've, I've been shot in the back like 20 times now. I'm, I think I'm good. So, um, but yeah, the PlayStation 5, I think is is the ultimate system. The only gripe that I have about the PS5 is the controllers don't last that long. So you're going to have to have two controllers at least um, if you're going to do extended gaming sessions. I think I get realistically, if I'm playing a game um, constantly, I can get about five hours of use out of these. So with these controllers, what I do, since I don't normally play five-hour gaming sessions... With these controllers, what I do is as soon as I'm done using them, I put them back on the charger. Uh, you know, on this is the Sony branded charger. I just I just put them back in here and let them let them charge. This one's not going to charge because it's on, but yeah. But normally, you know, for looks, sometimes I'll put it like that on on Darth Vader. You know, but yeah, I definitely recommend the, the the PlayStation 5. It's a great system. I would get the the disc version. I know it costs a little more, but if you think about it in the long run, you're going to save more money because you buy those disc-based games and you play them, you beat them, or you don't like them, or you get sick of them or whatever. You could turn around and sell them on a secondary marketplace like Facebook Marketplace or something. Because the games are like 70 bucks. So if you buy a $70 game and you beat it, you should be able to turn around and sell it for like $50. Because I've had good luck selling my games, uh, my $70 games anyways, that are like Hogwarts Legacy and Diablo 4 and stuff. I've had good luck getting $50 out of those on a secondary marketplace. So just, you know. 
That way, paid you you paid twenty dollars to play and beat a game, you know, rather than seventy dollars by downloading it, and then you're stuck with it on your hard drive, and then you're like, damn, I got to delete it, make hard drive space, blah blah blah. No, just buy the disc games. You're going you're gonna save more money in the long run. It's the best way to go. So, unless you just got money to burn and you just want to go all digital, but you know, hey, I I try to you know squeeze out every dime I can. So. Anyways, that's uh, my review on all three systems. If you're a casual gamer, I would recommend the Nintendo Switch because um, there's a ton of fun games on there and Nintendo quality games are second to none. Even on like first party games like the PlayStation 5 has, Nintendo quality is just like, oh my God, it's perfect. Like like Super Mario, uh, what was this, Mario Odyssey? Oh my God, Masterpiece. Legend, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Masterpiece. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Masterpiece. I don't know if I could say the same of God of War Ragnarok. Great game, but Masterpiece? Hmm. Halo Infinite on the Xbox, great game. Masterpiece? Hmm. Nah. So... In a perfect world, you would have all three. In a semi-perfect world, you would have a serious gaming machine like the PS5 or Xbox. And you would have a Nintendo Switch for playing those Nintendo games. Because the Nintendo games are really sweet. So, Anyways, uh, it all depends on how you want to spend your money. You know, we all prioritize differently. Some people like to go out drinking on the weekends. I'm, I'm not a weekend partier, so I... I take the money that I save from not going out on the weekends and, and spend money on my games. You know, that's how I pass the time and have fun. So that's just, you know, I'm a nerd. You know, I like to stay home and play video games and I rarely go out. So this is this is what I do. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions about any of the systems or what you should get, you know, any more comments, whatever. Leave them in the box below and I'll get back to you. You guys stay safe out there and take care.